Hi guys, it's Cassie and today we have got a luxury haul unboxing the first of mine for 2022. We are um, not that long into January and we're already here, guys. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, we have some very interesting items, okay, including something that I have been talking about forever, and she is finally mine, okay? She's going to be right at the end, so stick sodding with me. And some of these items that I got today, I got from Farfetch, so thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring this part of the video. And yes, I have a code for you, keep listening. We love Farfetch on this channel, they've been a long time sponsor. What is Farfetch? If you didn't know, Farfetch is an online platform that connects us the luxury addicts with boutiques, department stores, huge brands from all over the world. This basically means that they have such an amazing range of items available and they've got emerging designers. I'm always on there and I'm like, oh, hold on a second, who are you? I like what you're doing. Let's hear the story, you know, alongside those like heritage, big luxury fashion brands that we know and love. It's a very unique shopping experience and they also have a loyalty program called Access, which basically means that the more you shop on Farfetch, the more you get rewarded. Maybe there's a discount, maybe you get access to exclusive brands. My code is up on the screen for you to use. There are some brand exclusions and the T's and C's will be linked below. Also linked below will be my edit with Farfetch. I have a little page on there that I update with things that I'm obsessed with or have caught my eye, uh, my eye or whatever. Here's a little snippet of it. Um, you can click below to have a look at that as well in case you want some inspiration. Thank you once again to Farfetch for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, item number one. These are one of the hottest shoes of 2022. I know we're only X number of days in. She's proving to be that good, okay? Now, I need to give you a little bit of a backstory on how I ended up pulling the trigger on these. My mother influenced me. Yes, she did. She bought these shoes in white and I was home for Christmas and I kept seeing these shoes around the house. And to be very honest with you, I got jealous. Yes, I did. And I was like, there's no way I'm not having these shoes. These are the Valentino Tango platforms in I think 115 millimeters or something like that. These are exceptionnel. I got the black patent. They all come in patent as of now. I don't know if they'll like do new textures or something because they're so popular. In black, a kind of off-white, a blush, there's an orange and there's a burgundy. There's something very sort of schoolgirl and dominatrix about these shoes and what a combination that is. I love this little sort of V logo clasp here that's just like a little bit of like, eh, just, and just in case you're wondering, they are Valentino, you know? Aside from the fact that they're very high and platformy, these are a very kind of like simple and classic shoe style. They're a Mary Jane. You know, you've got a little ankle strap, little sort of roundy almondy toe. I like the shape of the toe as well. She's given us a good shape there. I have also found them to be true to size. I'm a size 39. I got these in a size 39. I'm happy with how they're feeling. These go with a lot. And I wanted the black because I wanted something that literally any outfit I needed a heel with, I could bring these out and they would give us a moment. Quite a few of you have asked me to compare these with the Versace Avitas platforms and I will do a video comparing the two of them pros and cons, which one wins out, all of that business, so that is coming soon. Um, the only annoying thing about patent is that your fingerprints get all over it. Okay, and that's a little bit annoying, but I can live with it. Next up we have, this is the first piece I've ever bought from this brand, ALC. Okay, and this dress I believe is called the Otto dress. She's got a lot of lint on her. Okay, so let's just look past it. She really kind of spoke to something that was like a casual moment in my soul. But then you know what? She she's a girl that can do both. Get you a girl that can do both. Okay, because she can do casual with a sneaker. Guess what? Take the sneakers off. Switch them for a pair of heels. Done. She's out on the. T maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not clubbing. Okay, but a nice dinner she can work for. How is she different from every other black knitted mini dress? First of all, I liked this zip sort of detailing and the collar because you can fold her back and she's nice and wide. It gives a little bit of something. Also, the arms are a little bit bat wingy. Okay, they're not tight to the arm. First of all, maybe please dwell on the cut of this dress. The collar, the zip, 
the sleeves, the tapering, how it fits on the body. She's cute, okay? Now, I want to do a tiny bit of a demonstration towards day to night. So this is a very, she's running errands and she's looking casual while doing so, you know, like fabulous, fabulous woman. We do a little this, we do a little of that, this. Cute, she's off, she's killing it. Easy transition piece, not only seasonal transition, okay, because we could do her in a spring with, you know, no tights, whatever, and we can do her in a fall winter as she so ding is. I got her in a size small. Welcome home. A little one, just a quick one, and if you watched my recent shopping vlog, you'd know all about it. I got this fabulous little, hold on a second, because this is the first time I'm trying it with my hair down. Oh, hold on. Oh, dear. So when we find out that we might have an issue. No, no, excuse you. Imagine with a jacket with a puffer. I haven't even told you what this is. This is an Acne Studios, is this wool? I don't know, I'll check the thing in a second. Headband, you know, I don't like hats, okay? I look like Slash every time I put a hat on. This hair is just not conducive to that, okay? But a headband, mm, got me thinking. Does everything I wanted it to do, nice and warm on the ears, the head and it's super comfy and look at that the hair is not it's not it's not really been affected this face that acne puts on it's just like such an unimpressed life face it's just like just please compare there are too many situations in life that have me looking like this so i find it appropriate thank you very much okay next item i've been renting out a little bit of real estate in my mind towards thinking about gilets now, I previously have stayed away from gilets mainly because of like, um, I guess nowadays you'd probably call it like school trauma, just a lot of people wore them. It wasn't, it wasn't the vibe. And then I was scrolly scrolling on Farfetch and I saw this and I was like, no, I like what you're giving me here. And one of the main reasons I loved her was because she's belted and she's got like a drop shoulder. This is from The Frankie Shop. It's a very oversized, this is an extra small, and it's still, it's still oversized. You'll see when I do the try-ons. She comes in cream and khaki. I obviously went for the black because she's just going to go with more of my wardrobe, especially when I talk, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the vibe. And then she's belted, and even the belt is puffy. Now, what I love about this gilet and what makes me excited about it is that we can play with the underneath layer. You know I love a bit of a second skin moment. This is the gilet woman I knew I could be. Hold on a sodding second. Lift her up. And then, oh, ho, ho, ho. she's warm. She's sodding cosy. Okay, she's gallivanting through the street. We need her a bag. There may be a chill in the air, but she's working with it. Just look at the cinch, okay? It gives a little bit of body that can be lost with puffer jackets. Very light, cosy, I'm warm, I'm snuggly, I'm enjoying it. The gilet for me, my gosh. Give it to us. Work. Oh, and back. Yes. Next up, a brand that I really loved many years ago and then they sort of went a little bit quiet shall we say and recently I was like do you want to know what I want to see I want to check on Givenchy I want to see how you're doing okay with your clothing and I saw this but she's not your average logo t-shirt this spoke to me in places I didn't even know I had at first glance you're like that's just a that's just a black Givenchy t-shirt isn't it no, 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 look closer. What's that? What's that going on there? Well, this, my friends, is a little lace panel that says Givenchy that is see-through. So this means that if you're wearing nothing underneath, except for your underwear, sort yourselves out, you're just gonna get the skin peeking through, you're gonna see the Givenchy. If you want to layer it with something fun underneath, again, you can do a pop of colour, you can really change it up, and she gives us options. I've got this in an extra small, but they're cut very oversized and I think this is going to work well with just the skin flash in a spring summer and then for an autumn winter we can layer her with something underneath and we can still serve. I was really enjoying riding that Givenchy train as I was scrolling and I saw this and I really live by the fact that one cannot have enough black leggings than pa that passes trousers okay so I saw these <laughs> these are black Givenchy leggings 
hear me out here, okay, because they've got something a little bit special. First of all, I like the material, okay, because it's that kind of like scuba -y thick material, oh, you're not going to be seeing what underwear I'm wearing underneath, okay? No, 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 we don't play those thin legging games around here. But the other thing that I did like is that it has Givenchy on the waistband, you've also got the little sort of 4G um, logo at the back there. Why do I like this? One issue that can be had with leggings, I'm somebody that will wear a top, like a skin tight top and then the leggings, so it sort of makes like a, a faux cat suit, shall we say. And the band sometimes can let you down on the legging. When it's sort of a design element of it, it looks a little bit more put together, it looks a little bit more deliberate if that makes any sense. So I like these, I'm a fan. I got these in a small, and finally, this is something I've been talking about for circa two years on this channel. So if you're a seasoned subscriber, this is not gonna be new to you. And for those of you that are going to have an initial negative reaction to this, I just want to remind you of two things. Number one, I know it's ridiculous. I'm a ridiculous person. Number two, I have thought about this for two years, okay? So clearly, I like it enough to have waited that long to get it. And also, if it helps my case, my mother approves. She thought, she was like, yeah, go, why? Yes, of course, it's fantastic. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, it's from Versace. It comes in this odd shaped box. What could it be? Mm, an interesting sound, is it? Oh, idiot. <laughs> there she is. There she is. It is the Crystal Medusa Travel Cup. And I feel like she's more than just a cup. You know, I feel like she is, she's almost like a trophy. She's, she will also be a permanent prop now uh, in my videos. So say hello to uh, Medi. This is Medi, short for Medusa, because I have to get my use out of her. Okay, this was an extortionate amount of money for what it is. I even went so far. Um, as to include her in a video, I think it was last year talking about luxury items I'm glad I didn't buy because I was so bitter about the fact that I wanted this and I couldn't bring myself at the time to buy it for myself. This also comes in blush pink, black, blue, red and I believe they have a Year of the Tiger version as well now but I just wanted to go for the all white. I thought this was the original. She's giving what she's wanting to give. I am now the happy mother of this cup. Also, if I take this to Starbucks and they dare use a marker on it, I will begin beef. You're not allowed to say anything bad about this cup. I'm only accepting positivity around Medi. She doesn't need to be brought down at a time like this, okay? Anyway, let me know what you thought of my haul. Once again, my Farfetch code is on the screen. Go forth, get your discount, get your things. Oh, and let me know what you get. Like DM me if you do use it and just be like, I got this, it makes me happy. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.